Hello again, everyone. Hope you are well on this Tuesday afternoon. It is July 30th. I'm going to talk about what's going on a little bit in Venezuela and how that makes me think of us right here in the United States, North America, actually. Also going to talk a bit about the Middle East. We have a new escalation there and uh, breaking news from there from today. I will go into that a little bit as well. I'm also going to talk a little bit about my video from yesterday and the hornet's nest that I stirred up. All right, I'll go into that here in just a minute. Uh, also have another passage that I will share with you from the Bible. Going Old Testament today again, so stay tuned for that. It's a very good one. It's encouraging, I promise. It's very encouraging, okay? But first, I don't know, you know, whenever, the best way I can put this is whenever you defend Jesus, you're going to have attacks and you're going to have insults and they're going to come flying. And I know this already, so it's okay. But yesterday's video, I don't know. I, I didn't intend to really do that much uh, stirring up, but apparently I did. And, you know, uh, I, I've blocked more people probably from that one video than I have in a long time altogether. I usually, y'all, usually I only have to block maybe one person on a video, you know, for every video I do, maybe one, maybe sometimes zero. But I'm telling you, just, just today, I don't, I, I lost count. I don't, I don't know. I mean, now that video did, the one from yesterday, it did get more views than I normally get on a video, which is cool, which is fine, which is good. But uh, I don't know, I stirred up some corner of hell because... The demons have flowed out, and they're still coming out at me. But that's what happens when we when we do this. So, again, I want to make it clear, you know, Christian or non-Christian, you are welcome here at this channel. I just ask that you be respectful, especially res respectful of other commenters. So, if you're not Christian, even if you're of another religion, I, you're more than welcome to be here. Just know that I'm going to talk about Jesus sometimes. Now, I usually keep my uh, the passage to the towards the end of the video, but sometimes the topic that I'm talking about, you know, like yesterday, is something to where I will mention it near the top of the near the beginning of the video, which I did you know, again. I did yesterday, but uh, you know, when you do that, you're going to get you're going to get the arrows. And uh, and like I said yesterday, I think that Christianity is one of, if not the most attacked religions because it is the religion of the true the one true god the one true lord our god and uh, jesus as our savior so i will continue to do that they can go somewhere else if they don't like it they go somewhere else if they don't if they're disrespectful and insulting then i add them to the block party the block party continues to grow all right okay Venezuela, you know, it, they've got thousands of protesters uh, down there. I've watched some footage on and off during the day when I've been able to take a break. And it uh, looks like some of it got pretty testy, some violence, some looting, some, some damage and stuff. But they have a contested election down there uh, where the communist uh, Maduro, Mr. Maduro, uh, the, incoming pre uh, the incumbent, I guess, uh, was uh, re-elected. And uh, even though the, from what it appears, from what we can see from all different directions, the, uh, it did not reflect the will of the people from, from what I understand, from what I'm gathering. Uh, according to a lot of exit polling and polling in general, this guy should have been handed a big defeat. But uh, things took a turn in the middle of the night uh, during election. So uh, he's the uh, president again. And so as a result, there are massive uh, protests going on throughout the country. And uh, it's getting pretty wild. It's getting pretty wild down there. So uh, it's ongoing. This is an unfolding story as we speak. So we'll see what happens. I, I imagine that this may go on for a while. Is it a full-blown revolution? I, I, we don't know yet. We'll see what happens. I don't, I, my feeling is it will not be. Um, but it makes me think about what we are facing here later this year. And will we see something similar? 
I really don't. I really don't know. Uh, my inclination is that yes, we will see something similar, but will we see the response? In other words, if something similar happens here in the United States, will we see thousands of people out in the streets? <clears throat> Would we see violence? I really don't know the answer to that. I really don't. Uh, my, I, I would, I would say that it's more likely that we don't see anything. Uh, yeah, grumbling and 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 uh, a, a lot of uh, verbal and people upset and all that. But um, w w would it go to the streets? I, I, I don't, I don't think so. At least not if uh, if if the camel is is elected say that loosely uh, if she's elected then I, I don't believe we'll see much of anything now if Trump is elected then that's a whole different story then I believe uh, I, I believe we would see massive a massive unrest and on a mass scale long term I really do I think it would have the potential potential I'm not saying it would happen for sure but I think it would have the potential to make 2020 look like a, a little neighborhood fireworks show on 4th of July. That, that, that's, that's my thought. Anyway, that's, that's kind of my thinking there. But we do have the potential for it to be a lot more than that, actually. Keep preparing. I, I mention this all the time, I know, but I, 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 I put it in categories, you know, as far as prep. Spiritual is number one. Spiritual prep. Uh, water. We got to have water, y'all. We, we, we can't go very long without water. We can go longer with food than water than without water. Water. Uh, water. Food. Fuel. Keep your gas tanks full. Get extra if you can. If you can store it. If you can store it safely, get extra, please. Keep stacking. Physical prep. What I mean by that is <clears throat> if we can get in the best physical condition that we can that we can be. You know, as we're able, not everybody's capable of running a half marathon or running a you know, a half mile and full out. You know what I mean? I mean not everybody can do that, but even if it's just getting more walking in and being able to get your body conditioned to where it can do more, be exerted more, whatever you can do, that would be, be helpful. Okay. So physical, medical, what can you store medically? Even if it's just basic first aid, you'd be surprised how many people just have no basic first aid. They're like, I have no band-aids. What? You know, you should have that in your vehicle, you know? Uh, so every vehicle, you know, both of our vehicles have first aid, has first aid kits in them. Um, we have a separate one in the home. I mean, you know, it, it, if you can get even more than that, you know, uh, even better. You know, if, if you can get more than just the basic stuff. Training skills, like, like knowing how to do CPR, basic first aid even. We're required, I'm required to do it um, at work, and we get recertified every two years. But if, even if you can't do that for where you work or maybe a church or organization, you know, community, county you know for uh red cross whatever if you can get take a class on that <clears throat> you know the fire sometimes the local fire departments can do that please do it you'd be surprised what just the basic stuff can make a big difference okay so first aid cpr kind of stuff anything like that okay let's keep on preparing please all right um Israel, Israel. I, I mentioned in my video yesterday that Israel is not going to play. They're not. They're going to come hard at uh, at, at uh, Lebanon and Hezbollah. They made a big strike uh, earlier today or last night, depending on how you view it. View it the timeline uh, in the last 12 hours. It looks like they made a big strike uh, in a suburb of Beirut, Lebanon. They targeted a high-ranking Hezbollah senior commander, from what I'm reading, from what I'm understanding. <clears throat> At this hour, it's hard to tell if that strike was successful. 
All I'm seeing now in news is that uh, they were targeting a specific uh, commander. So we will see what happens. We will see if there is a counter response from Hezbollah. I imagine there will be. Uh, Hezbollah is a lot different animal than Hamas. Uh, Hezbollah has a, 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 a pretty much full backing from Iran. They have real weapons. They have a they have a, an army, a real army compared to Hamas. They have a lot more capability. So, but I don't think Israel is scared to go hard on, uh, to go hard and heavy on Hezbollah. Um, they can take on just about Israel can take on just about anybody anybody in the Middle East, especially. Okay. Israel is a nuclear power as well. They are nuclear capable. So that is a concern. Uh, like I said yesterday, it is rumored that Hamas, I mean, uh, that uh, Hezbollah, just like Iran, has uh, capability of EMPs, electromagnetic pulse of weapons. So that'd be a whole different escalation, y'all. We're in a whole different world if that happens. Okay, so we just need to keep watchful of this stuff. Okay. But, but keep keep with the preps. Like I said, water, food, water, food, fuel, medical, spiritual, physical. Spiritual number one. Spiritual, water, food, physical. Do what you can. Do as you're able. Everybody, somebody's going to say I'm too poor to prep. No, you're not. <clears throat> you can learn a skill. A lot of times free. Okay, that's, that can be free most all the time. Um, you can grab a couple of extra cans of pork and beans. Grab some peanut butter. Extra water, just some extra water, a little bit at the time, a little bit at the time, okay? All right, share your thoughts on that. I'm going to go to a passage. It is from Psalm. It is raining, y'all. It's raining with the sun out. And I was going to cut grass today. We'll see what happens. All right. Psalm. I'm going to have to talk louder. But it's right. Bear with me. Uh, Psalm. Psalm uh, book, uh, chapter what is it, 73. Yes. I thought it was 74. Uh, Psalm 73, starting with verse uh, 25. I'll go a, couple, a few verses. Whom have I in heaven but thee? And besides thee, I desire nothing on earth. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For behold, those who are far from thee will perish. Thou hast destroyed all those who are unfaith unfaithful to thee. The key verse in there, you've heard it before probably, my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Our physical bodies, these frail physical bodies that we possess here, they're going to fail at some point. We can do the best we can to keep them strong, and we should do that. The only one we have, it's the only one we have here while we're on this earth, uh, and, and they will and they will fail. Um, but God is the everlasting strength, the eternal, the one true God. Like I said at the top of the video, the the beginning, the end. There is no end. Nobody created him. He is. He is and always has been. And the Christ Jesus is our Savior. And that is a lot of hope right there. It's encouraging. And it's the truth. All right. So take it to the bank. All right. Let's stay in prayer. Let's stay preparing. Let's be safe. Let's be careful out there. It's a wild time right now. It's a wild time. It really is. We need to be aware out there in your, in your travels, in your adventures. But uh, stay close to Jesus. God bless you. I will see you soon.